Hello, wrestling fans. Aaron Hurt at the Red, White, and Bruised Update Center with some breaking news regarding the event on Saturday, July the 31st, coming to the Fairfield County Fairgrounds. Jimmy Hart, unfortunately, due to circumstances beyond our control, will not be able to participate in Red, White, and Bruised, but we have confirmation that the Nasty Boys will be here in his place, dispatched personally by Jimmy Hart to turn Lancaster, Ohio into Nastyville. Knobs and Sags are going to be there, and who knows what could happen when those two men come to the PWA. We heard the word from Jimmy Hart himself, so let's take a look at what the man had to say. <laughs> Fairfield County Fairgrounds, July the 31st, 6.30 p.m. Oh my gosh, are you ready? You better be ready because I'm sending Brian Knobs and Jerry Sags, the nasty boys. It's going to be unbelievable. The greatest tag team, one of the greatest tag teams I've ever managed along with the Hart Foundation and the Rougeau brothers. And the, you know, it's going to be so crazy. I feel like an elephant sitting on my tongue. I'm so excited about it. The nasty boys are on their way, baby. So you better batten down the hatches. Fans, that's hardly the only reason to be excited about Red, White, and Bruised returning to the Fairfield County Fairgrounds on Saturday, July the 31st, because the Premier Wrestling Alliance is going to crown new tag team champions. Both teams have qualified for the finals. We're going to see Casino Heat, the duo of Jordan Carlisle and Jimmy Fahrenheit. Jimmy Fahrenheit, very experienced tag team wrestler, and has captured those titles more times than perhaps I can count. They're going to be facing the team of Sensation Anthony Ray and the Rocket Josh Benson, two of the fastest rising up and coming stars in the PWA. You can guarantee that that match is going to be as intense, as dynamic, as athletic as you could ever want it to be because the tag team division is back in the PWA Saturday, July the 31st at the Fairfield County Fairgrounds, Red, White, and Bruise 2021. That's not the only match that we have information about that we can bring to you at this time. We have been hearing some rumors coming from the championship committee that Lafferty, the Irish hitman, has been making a lot of noise, making some serious demands about wanting to have a match signed as soon as possible for Red, White, and Bruce 2021. He feels it's an oversight that we haven't included uh, a talent of his caliber already, so he's uh, kicking up a lot of dust in the backstage area about that, and uh, some of it's going in the direction of Tony James. We've seen those two men cross paths several times over the past few weeks, and it just seems like that if Lafferty feels froggy enough to jump, Tony James will be right there to sign the dotted line and get that match in the ring at Red, White, and Bruce. Fans, you're going to have to stay tuned to what you're watching right now for more information about that, but I can bet that will happen one way or another on Saturday, July the 31st. Plus, if you did not see the most recent PWA event at the arena in Lancaster, then you missed a very shocking confrontation as Jeffrey John purportedly in the ring to make a presentation uh, was very bold in issuing a challenge, a kiss the ring challenge. It brought out none other than the president of the PWA himself, the franchise player, Chris Cruitt, who had very little time for uh, the antics of Jeffrey John. And far be it for me to tell you about it. Why don't we go to the footage so you can see for yourself how it went down? That is still going to happen. You see, at Red, White, and Bruise, I am issuing another Kiss the Ring open challenge. And it you will either kiss the ring or you will either kiss the ring, but regardless, you will get all of the God footage. What? Hold up. Oh. <laughs> time out, time out, time out. Respect. I will respect the elderly by telling him this is not smart. You're barely here. Don't make me put you out for good. Come on. On behalf of everybody here in the PWA arena, you talk too damn much. And if you'd like to make a challenge on July 31st at the Fairfield County Fairgrounds, and you wanna make an open challenge for anybody in the locker room, do me a favor and stop looking. 
because I'll do it. The franchise player Chris Cruitt will not be the only member of the Cruitt family in action as of course the main event will see real deal Kevin Cruitt, the man who captured the 2021 shot at greatness, use that opportunity to face the champion Rowdy Randy Forrest for the PWA Heavyweight Championship. This is a prize that Kevin Cruitt was literally born to capture and the entire fan base of the PWA has been awaiting this confrontation for months, if not years. The relationship between the Cruitt family and Rowdy Randy Forrest is well known, and it is going to be possibly shattered forever as a result of this match. Who is going to emerge the heavyweight champion at Red, White, and Bruised? Will it be the young up-and-comer, perhaps not that much longer, Real Deal Kevin Cruitt, or will it be the veteran multi-time champion, Rowdy Randy Forrest? Plus, Let's not forget that the Nasty Boys aren't our only special guest. We're going to have Sam Houston back in the building. Glad to welcome him back to the PWA. He saw how rough and tough the competition was his first time here back in February of the year 2020, and he is going to be ready to mix it up in that ring once again. So, fans, also, let's not forget Mark Coleman, the hammer himself, the UFC Hall of Famer, the first ever Pride and UFC heavyweight champion. He's made his presence felt at Red, White, and Bruise going back several years. And quite frankly, if he wants to show up this year, who's going to stop him? Even if they wanted to, I don't think they'd be capable of it. So Sam Houston, the Nasty Boys, the tag team titles, the heavyweight championship, franchise player Chris Cruitt making his return to competition to face off against Jeffrey John. And I guarantee you there'll be much more to come in the coming days and weeks before we reach Red, White, and Bruised at the Fairfield County Fairgrounds, Saturday, July the 31st. Tickets are available now at PWAOhio.com, so visit as soon as you can. Get those tickets and make sure you are in the building Saturday, July the 31st at the Fairfield County Fairgrounds for PWA, Red, White, and Bruised.